Again, I know you've dealt with this uh, via the mailbag and, and you've answered this question um, in your beat writing duties. Are you concerned that Deshaun Watson hasn't played football in, in a, and it, it'll probably be a year, and probably a year and a half by the time uh, they eventually get him onto the field, in theory? Yeah, you know what, I, I think it's something to pay attention to for sure. I don't think it's going to be the demise of the bronze season or him. Uh, but I do think it is something to pay attention to, just like you would if a guy missed the entire season with an injury. Now, obviously, he didn't have the injury, so that's something you don't have to take into account. But it's been a long time since he's, you know, read a defense at full game speed, and that's not going to come until we don't know when, right? Is it week one or is it week five or seven or nine, depending on, you know, if the NFL suspends him. So I, I think that is something to keep an eye on, and I would think there'll be – you know, some growing pains or some speed bumps when he does take that first game action. Now, I'm not saying that means the Browns lose that first game. Um, I think he'll get over that relatively quickly. But, you know, we talk so much about reps and coaches talk about it and players talk about it. We don't have any game ups for a whole year. So I think that is something that you just can't ignore. But I do think the fact that the suspension would not affect his preseason or training camp. So he should get most of, if not all, the offseason program and your OTAs and mini camps and then training camp and then the preseason, that that should help to some degree shake off that rust. Yeah, and, you know, the, the, the positive side of it is he, his body has one less year of getting beat on by defenses um, because he didn't play last year. So there is a give and take.